Have you ever wondered, in a world of many impossibilities, if there could be a chance that sound can travel faster than light? Before we dive into this seemingly bizarre thought, let's understand how we measure speed in the humbling vastness of our universe. Setting our base, we recognize speed in the language of light, where the fastest known entity travels at an incredible 299,792 kilometers per second. This cosmic speed limit set by light stands unchallenged. Yet, yet, you heard right. Theories within our fascinating world of quantum physics flirt with the possibility of breaking this universal speed limit. These theories suggest the existence of particles called tachyons that are hypothesized to move faster than light. Exciting, isn't it? But hold on to your seats as we bridge the gap between the unimaginable speed of light and our everyday perception of sound. Spider-Man's tingling spider sense, while fiction interestingly mirrors how we perceive danger. We often hear the alarming sound an instant before witnessing the peril, causing us to react before disaster strikes. In our world, we explored caves, mountains, and canyons, our voice echoing back to us, bouncing off walls, reaching us after it had already left our lips. Doesn't that make you wonder? But how can something as mundane as sound compete in a race with the universe's fastest sprinter? Sound, in its simplicity, is a mechanical wave, a series of compressions and rarefactions, moving through a physical medium. But its strength lies in its adaptability in various mediums, solid, liquid, or gas. Interestingly, sound finds a faithful ally in medium density. The denser the medium, the faster it transmits sound. A fascinating fact, isn't it? And we thought we understood sound. It is making its own waves literally in its quest for speed. Did I hear you whisper? So can sound really be the tortoise that trumps the hare? Let's embark further into the maze of speed. Stepping into the peculiar alleyways of physics, we question the perimeters set forth by Einstein's special theory of relativity and peer into possible loopholes. In the world of relativity, speed is relative. Einstein maintained the speed of light to be the only constant, irrespective of observer's motion or light source. It's here that tachyons come back into play, with their speed that supposedly overpowers light, challenging the very foundation on which relativity is built. But wait, there's another contender in this race. Neutrinos. Yes, those elusive particles that hardly ever interact with anything. Speculations around non-zero masses of these ghost particles and their speeds close to light toss them into this thrilling contest. With sound eagerly lunging towards the finish line with its variable speeds and diverse mediums, we have an enthralling spectacle unfolding. The interesting twist here is that sound doesn't really have to outrun light to defy our conventional understanding about speed. If sound succeeds in traveling faster even within its favorable medium than light does in vacuum, it shakes up our grasp on the universal speed limit. In the vast cosmic landscape, light embodies speed, yet within the microscopic world of atoms, sound sets its own pace. Through a phenomenon called sonoluminescence, sounds can create brief flashes of light in liquids. Here sound leads and light follows. We're now halfway down this peculiar winding road, with the goalpost of truth still shrouded in mystery. The rabbit holes of scientific possibilities are deeper than we think. As we head deep into quantum physics, we encounter Bose-Einstein condensates, where scientists have indeed slowed down light to less than snail's pace. And while light was crawling, scientists also managed to whip sound to jaw-dropping speeds in specially engineered materials. The physics behind these amazing manipulations is incredibly complex, stretching our brains as surely as these experiments are stretching the limits of speed. So does that mean we've witnessed sound overtaking light? Not so fast. Remember, this all happens under very specific conditions. In the grander scheme, light remains the sprinter supreme, and sound, though proving its mettle in local races, is yet to beat its formidable rival universally. But let me assure you, sound doesn't need to feel left out. Its nature and behavior still hold many secrets waiting to be discovered. After all, aren't mysteries the very things that propel us forward on our relentless pursuit of knowledge and understanding? While we ponder this speed conundrum, we continue to dabble in countless experiments and theories, each one peeling back a new layer of our universe's enigmatic riddles. 
As we ride this roller coaster through the wonders of physics, let's remember, it's the journey that's truly fascinating, not just the finish line. And isn't that what makes our universe so enthralling? Each question merely opens up more avenues for exploration, pulling us deeper into the enticing world of science. In this mesmerizing realm of light and sound, we've only just begun our voyage into the unknown. So hop on board, for there's always more out there waiting to be discovered.